Let's look at how to convert from miles to kilometers and vice versa. So the key conversion that we need to know is that five miles equals to eight kilometers. And so we've got some examples where we're going to work out the missing values in each of these questions. Example A is converting 32 kilometers into miles. So the first thing we need to do is start with the conversion of eight kilometers equals to five miles. And then we look at whether we can multiply eight kilometers to get 32 kilometers easily. And so in this case, eight times four gives us 32 kilometers. Therefore, if we multiply the left hand side by four, we also need to multiply the right hand side by four. So five miles times four gives us 20 miles. And so 32 kilometers equals to 20 miles. For 45 miles, we need to work out how many kilometers that's equal to. So again, start off with our conversion. We have five miles equals to eight kilometers. And now we check whether there's a number that we multiply five with to give us 45 easily. And so in this case, that number is nine. So nine times five gives us 45 miles. And so we need to multiply the right hand side as well. And eight kilometers times nine gives us 72 kilometers. And so 45 miles equals to 72 kilometers. Example C is working out five kilometers in miles. So again, start with the conversion. We have eight kilometers equals to five miles. Now in this case, since five kilometers isn't a multiple of eight kilometers, we're going to use the unitary method, which means that we're going to work out what one kilometer equals to in miles, and then we're going to work out what five kilometers equals to. So to work out what one kilometer is, we divide both sides of the equation by eight. And so we get that one kilometer equals to five over eight miles. And now to work out five kilometers, we multiply both sides by five. So on the left hand side, we get five kilometers, which equals to five times five over eight. And if we work this out on a calculator, we'll find that this equals to 3.125 miles. And so five kilometers is equal to 3.125 miles. For example, D, we're going to work out what 12 miles equals to in kilometers. So first we use our conversion five miles equals to eight kilometers. Then we check whether 12 is a multiple of five. And so since 12 is not a multiple of five, we need to use the unitary method. Therefore, we work out what one mile is equal to, and we do that by dividing both sides by five. So if we divide both sides by five, we get that one mile equals to eight over five kilometers. And now to work out 12 miles, we multiply by 12. So 12 miles equals to eight over five multiplied by 12. And if we put this in the calculator, we find that we get 19.2 kilometers. And so 12 miles equals to 19.2 kilometers. Example E, we're trying to work out what 62.4 kilometers is equal to in miles. So again, we start off with our conversion of eight kilometers equals to five miles. And then we check whether 62.4 is a multiple of eight. And so 62.4 is not a multiple of eight, therefore we need to use the unitary method. Dividing both sides by eight gives us that one kilometer equals to five over eight miles. And then we multiply both sides by 62.4. So 62.4 kilometers equals to five over eight times 62.4. If we put this in the calculator, we find that we get 39. And so we get that 62.4 kilometers equals to 39 miles. And the final example is 51.7 miles in kilometers. So to work this out, we first start with our conversion. So we have five miles equals to eight kilometers. And then we check whether 51.7 is a multiple of five. Since it isn't, we use the unitary method. So divide both sides by five to get one mile. And so one mile equals to eight over five kilometers. And finally, to work out 51.7 miles, multiply both sides by 51.7. So 51.7 miles equals to eight over five times 51.7, which if we put in a calculator, we find is equal to 82.72 kilometers. 
And so we've worked out 51.7 miles in kilometers.